Hello, today we're going to be looking at Hikvision's ColorView 4 megapixel fixed lens turret camera. Yes, I did say 4 megapixels. The part number is actually listed here. This camera uses a 1, 1.8 inch sensor to allow it to capture better video quality in low light. It has a lens aperture of 1.0, that's right, 1.0 to allow it to capture more light. According to Hikvision's press release, the camera's powerful ability to capture details in low light comes from two specific breakthroughs in hardware technologies, advanced lenses and high sensitivity sensors. The camera lenses also feature broadband anti-reflection coating and an extra low dispersion optical glass to reduce light flare and efficiency to reproduce image sharpness and color saturation. They claim this camera can see color in 24 seven. It's actually equipped with two white R White R, white R, white IR LEDs and turns on when it's pitch black. It features 120 decibels of wide dynamic range and has lens options from 2.8 mil, 4 mil and 6 mil. It has a built-in microphone and is IP67 rated to ensure the camera is well protected against the outdoors. The camera itself allows for a three axis design, meaning for easy adjustments. And we're actually gonna take a look at this camera and see how good its picture quality is. How good can a four megapixel camera, particularly at night, going to perform? We're gonna give you real world video so you can decide for yourself if this camera lives up to its name. Enough of this talking, let's go set this up. So here's our first bench test. We have the camera set up with the lights on, so the camera is actually in so-called daytime mode. The camera's set up probably about one meter away from the chart. If we look at the colors, it actually looks pretty good uh, in comparison to say the color chart. So what we'll do now is we'll zoom into all the corners of the color checker chart and just see what type of, we'll see how the text looks like when we zoom in. So here we go. Whoa, that is not what I expected. It is so unclear. Let's zoom out and just see what happens when we look at the other corners. Okay, it helps if I actually click the zoom tab. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, just what I thought. It's the same as the first one. Uh, now let's just have a look at the ruler. Yep, yeah, no surprises, real blurry. Uh, this is not really going well um, for the camera when we start zooming in. Okay, let's look at the second bench test. What we'll do now is we'll turn off all the lights. Uh, as you can see here, the camera is turned on its white IA LEDs. Um, this allows the camera to operate in color mode. And this is how it can see color in 24 seven. So the colors, yep, they look good. Uh, image looks good, but let's see what happens when we zoom in this time. So what you'll see here is actually a, a screen grab of all four, corner, all four corners. Uh, not really great if you're wanting to zoom in, as you can see, it's quite blurry in each text. And the IR LEDs have not really improved the picture quality at all when trying to zoom in. So just out of curiosity, we then decided to throw this and do a black and white mode test and see if the picture looks any better. I guess in the past with other cameras we have tested in black and white, the images aren't too bad and you know text is still legible. Once again, we'll zoom into all the corners and we'll see what results we get. As you can see, all four corners are pretty much the same as if they were in color. Um, let's see what the real world tests do and see if it performs any better. So this is our day shot. Um, I'll actually begin walking uh, at the distance. I'm probably about 15 meters away from the camera. And if I freeze it here, uh, you can see, you know, colors look great. Uh, you can still make out facial features and skin tones. Um, even to this point, we can still make out lettering and numbers on these number plates. In this next shot, I'll actually walk up to the camera. I'm probably going to approach the camera about three meters away. And if I stop it here, the colors look great. Everything looks great. You can still make out facial features, etc. So in the next part of the video, I'll start zooming in uh, on this particular number plate. If we zoom in here, you can see it's not as clear as say a six megapixel or an eight megapixel camera, but you can still clearly see the numbers and letters. And I'll just zoom over to the left and see what it's like over here. Once again, you can still make out the letters and numbers, um, even though it's only a four megapixel camera, you can still clearly see what they are. But it's one thing having great vision during the day, but we're actually not here to see how good this camera is during the day. So let's check out the night vision. But before we get into that, I just wanna give you an example of what the scene actually looks like 
So here's a video footage captured with an iPhone 11. You see it's dark, like it's real dark and there's not a lot of light around. Now take a look at this. This is really impressive. Um, this was taken around 7 p.m. with no other lighting around apart from the street light, which is probably about 80 meters away. Um, as I begin to walk, you can see there's a little bit of motion blur, but it's no worse than say a black and white camera with its IR on. And when I freeze it here, you still can't identify who it is, but compared to a black and white image, you now get more information. You now know what they're wearing. In this case, you know, a black jumper and blue jeans. Now what I'll do is I'll walk up to the camera, uh, once again, stop about three meters away and see what happens. As I freeze the image here, you can start to see, you know, you can get facial features, um, but most importantly also, you get to see what color clothes someone might be wearing. Wow, did I just say wow? This camera is amazing at night. If there is some other street lighting or any other light around, this camera comes to life. The picture quality during the day is to be expected and performs really well. Look, I was a little bit concerned after our bench test, but the real world images speak for themselves. It goes to show that even though it's a four megapixel camera, it doesn't mean the quality will not be as good and say as the, you know, your higher resolution cameras. I'm actually gonna be doing another video explaining why resolution is not the first thing you should look for when choosing a camera, so stay tuned for that. The pictures from this camera are clear and provide another level of detail that is not possible when using a standard IR camera. To be able to identify color, I feel is crucial in helping track down what may have happened. To say what color a car is or what color clothes someone was wearing helps incredibly to, under, incredibly? Incredibly to understanding what may have happened in an event. The motion blur compared to when using a standard camera with its IR on is comparable. I would say the black and white camera's image with its IR on will give you a little bit more detail, but you'll see from the images in that color view, you saw that the image was free from noise. You know, it wasn't clear or crisp compared to say the black and white. However, having that color more than makes for up for it in night. Look, I wouldn't use these cameras everywhere unless your budget allows for it, but in combination with your standard camera will give you incredible insight into your surroundings at night. So thanks for watching. And remember, if you like what you saw, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you get later fired of our notice videos. At EQL, we're always here to help and support your business. What did I say? Later fired. Later fired. <laughs>